is Dan, you're right. I'm going to show you guys how to change the bulbs on a VW Scirocco. Uh, this is on a 2008 plate, but not my, well, most of them are not uh, any different to this one. I've tried to do the bulb myself. I've had a go to get in here to, to do the bulb, and I found that it's really difficult to get your hand in to twist what they want, what, what they want you to twist. So I've even got my kids to try and put their hands in there, and at the moment it's, it's nine or impossible to do. So what I'm going to do is show you how to just simply take the light forward to get to all the bulbs, and then that way we can show you how to do the bulbs. First of all, put gloves on, because it's very, very sharp in there, guys. And I've cut myself a few times, so now I'm going to just put gloves on. So think about your hands, stop cutting yourself up. Anyway, the bulb kit I'm going to use is just an AA1. I got it from my local uh, parts store. It's 9.99, so it's not too bad. And it comes with all the bulbs that you need to do the job. So it's probably quite handy to have. If you're driving at night time, you want to make sure you've got the right bulbs. Right, so I'm going to go on to moving on to how to take this light out now, okay? So what we're going to need is, I've got this, you can use um, any other ones, as long as you've got the Torx pieces. I've got T30s these are, so T30. Um, this goes into here, I've got like this smart device. So the first thing we want to underdo is the top two screws, so it's this one and this one to release the light. Um, I've already undone them, just literally just get in there, undo them. Let me just take these off for you real quick. So there's that one and this one, and that's them two done. Put them somewhere safe, remember where they go. I'm just gonna put these ones up here. I know where they go anyway. Um, like I said, this, this one here I've broken, but I'm gonna show you what to do if you break one. So I've broken the top of this one. You can get them at um, any VW store. It's not gonna cost a lot of money to get one, but I'll put the price on there how much it's gonna cost if you end up breaking yours. Just leave it up with WD-40 first. I probably should have done that, but I thought, it being quite a new car it probably wouldn't be that bad anyway so first of all we want to take off this black piece this black piece has got three screws one here which I've already loosened so we'll take that off and then we've got this one here and then down deep down in here we've got this one here as well this one's a bit of a nightmare to get to but once you've got it off it's absolutely perfect to undo so let's take that off there so there's them three keep them somewhere safe so you know that them three are for that top piece Generally, just put the piece that slides off just like that. It's really easy to take off. It gives you more access, stops you cutting yourself up. Anyway, stage two. Them two are undone. So there's one down in here that you need to undo, which is on top of the light there. Can you see that one there? And then right at the back here, guys, there's one just down at the back of the light. So that's what you need to take off as well. Can you see that down there? That light there? So it's just there that one there so you need to undo that once you've got that done you can take them out let's just do that now remember there for the light so you keep the light ones with the light ones and then the other pieces the other bolts with the other ones right this was broken this section here I broke so all I did is I got one of these got on there gave it a good twist and then this comes off so I can go down to my local VW store I'll probably do that tomorrow, get a new one of those, I'll get a bolt and that, put that back on there. Like I say, it doesn't take too long to do, but try not to break it if you can guys, yeah? The light, down here, the light is fixed in the bumper. You can't see it, but the light is slid into the bumper this way. So what you want to do, careful of this edge because you can scratch the light. So you want to get the light and you want to push the light back. And as you can see, it releases it from here. You want to just lift it up and then slide it forward without scratching it on there and it will come out so just wiggle it just be careful not to break it yeah so now it's out we can disconnect the back the back piece here so we're going to do that next right so once you've taken that connection off like so then there's a little clip there so you have to push down a little tab on that and then that's off there so let's put that in there out safely out of the way right i've managed i've covered that up because that bit's sharp and you don't want to scratch your light up. So now that's off, I'll show you how to set the bulbs out. Let's use this towel actually to lay the bulb, lay the light on soon, and we can show you. So this is the light that's out. It's so simple that it's just literally twist and you take the bulb out. But to do that with the light in, you can't get your hand in there to do it. Like I said, it's really hard to do. As you can see, look, the bulb's completely blown and we had a light on on the dash. 
to notify us of that. You're not supposed to touch the element, but this one's gone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That's why I'm put. That's why I've got gloves on, guys, so that it makes sure that if you're going to touch the bowl by accident, at least you're not going to be touching it with your fingertips. So just take the new one, get your edge. Remember how you took it out. Line it back up again. Push it in, guys, and then you see in there that just goes into here. You line it up um, like so. And then you twist it until it clips in place, and then that's that done. Right, um, the other ones aren't blown, but why it's out, I'm just going to show you guys how we could do it. Um, so there's this one in here, that's actually just got a unit in, so that's not like, anything to do with anything. So you won't have to worry about that ever. Um, this one here has got, uh, looks like a H1, no, another H7 bulb actually. So that will just pull off, and then that pulls out like that, so that's easy enough so that's just a clip fit one really hard to do why they're um, in the car so you're better off to do them out of the car they just push in very easy to do and that seems to be it really on that side of things um, there doesn't seem to be any other bulbs so you literally you've got two bulbs there you've got two H7s that's all that this one takes so that's that's it really um, I'm just quickly put it back in just so you guys can see how it goes back in I just remember, um, I'm not going to be able to cover this up when I put that back in because that, that needs to be uncovered so that you can get to everything you need to get to. Take your connection, put your connection back on, push that back onto there, make sure it clicks in place. Just hear that click, so that's in. Then when you're putting it in, remember guys, put it back, make sure that doesn't scratch there and then let it fall a bit and then line this piece up here and then lift it up and then it will slide back into place like so and then do the reverse put the screws back in and then put the top back on all right that's how it's done thanks guys